Good afternoon. Um, this video will be about body fitment and aerodynamics. Um, I find this is probably the most painful portion of the speedrun content, um, but I did want to go over it because it took me a long time to get this right. So I'll be showing you the first couple steps that you need to ensure that the body is on the car and the car won't flip into the air. Just as a note, I went with a little bit different setup than vertical mounts on the top. I have these horizontal mounts. And the reason I did that was it's just one less variable so that you only have your rear body post to deal with. For this car, this is using a stock Arma body mount system. So these are just different Delrin posts that my uh, sponsor sent me. And I'll show you the next step. So I have a handmade carbon body that I made uh, out of a seven scale jack body that I used as a mold. And what you want to do is get your body lined up. It's a bit tricky. And then it fits down there. And then put the pins in. And put the second pin in. So there we go. We have our body. It's a bit easier when the whole thing's mounted. But it fits and it's all nice. However, the aerodynamics aren't up to spec, so the, the fins aren't going to do the job. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your fins on the body, well as make some little points about um, how to make sure that the body fits onto the skirts. The biggest issue that I find with bodies is the fins moving up and down. So they're, they are keeping straight, which is good, but as air moves around, it's going to make the side skirt move around as well. And we want to make sure that that's flat. And this fin will need to be removed because it has no structural rigidity. So what I'm going to do for this body actually is I'm going to cut this middle portion off. Um, as you can see, I already did the mold based on not having those uh, upper portions, and the body actually uses right angles to keep the fin straight. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut this middle portion off, and then we're going to add a little spoiler type device to make sure that the, uh, the body is straight. Which actually, now that I'm thinking aloud, I might just make a flat portion on the bottom of the body. That way it's more aerodynamic. Okay, so a method to my madness is number two thread lock, I mean number 42 thread lock. What I did here is a little cheat. So I built this little bar. I put a dot of thread lock on the screw, a dot of thread lock on the other side of the screw. Sorry about the screeching. And then what you do is very carefully grab your bar and you lay one down without moving it too much. And you lay the second one down. So now it's mated. And then very carefully you lift it. There we go. So we have our dot and we have our dot. Okay, so I just wanted to give a status update. Um, I ground that down, which is good, and I got this to fit, which is also good. However, there is a third step, or I guess what step are we on? I would say step three, is wheel wells. 
Um, let me show you what I'm having trouble with. So, you grab your car, and you grab your body, and then carefully put it down into its locked position. Let's do that for you. Alright, so put it down, locked in, and as you can see, cutting a bit close there. So, you grab your marker. This is a, a it's like a white marker that gets wiped off with alcohol. So what you do, you prime it. Now without touching the tire, you know that we need to get rid of that portion. And on the other side, it's a similar story. So we're going to mark that. And basically what I'm doing is I'm doing the finalized cutting on the body, even though it's not the most perfect mold job, but I think this will be a winning strategy. Um, now that we have that marked, grab the body, put it aside. Put away our prized possession. Put the body down. And then I'm going to go into time lapse mode. Okay, so the next step is me going to AutoZone to get some 2K clear coat. Now this is kind of a matte finish, but it should make it shine a little bit and it'll remove the sanding marks. Um, those will all go away with clear coat, so stay tuned. Okay, so I used 1K clear coat and so far it's coming out pretty nice. I mean, we have a lot of wind today, uh, but that is a much, much better finish than I anticipated. I know the body's not perfect, but uh, let's wait for it to dry and then we'll put it back together. Okay, so I was a bit impatient, but it turned out much better than expected. Um, we got our rear fin, it's stabilized, it's solid, and it's ready to just dry before putting it on the cart. And thanks for watching.